I'm sure that most of you are already aware that there is a huge confraternity war between Black Ass and Supreme Aya confraternity in some areas in the city of Benin. And this confraternity war has been active since last year and it is said to have claimed a lot of lives. This war is very hot in areas like Uwelu, Oluku, Isio, Siloko and also Testami Road. And during December 2023, a lot of people is said to have been brought down. So in 2024, the confraternity war crossed to areas like 2nd East Secular Road, 3rd East Secular Road and around Igun which also have claimed a lot of lives. So as this is going on, a lot of people were praying that this confraternity war should not get to a particular area in Benin City called Opa. Because that area, Opa, have a very bad reputation when it comes to confraternity war. They said if a war should start in that area, it is going to lead to the bringing down of a lot of people in a very short period of time. The reason for this is because most of the young men in that area are very stubborn. But unfortunately, a new confraternity war, it seemed to have started in that area two days ago. When this young man that you are seeing on your screen, is said to have been brought down. In this video, I am going to tell you who this young man is, I will tell you why he was brought down, how he was brought down. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive into the video. So two days ago, there was a shocking update that this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down in an area called Goody Goody, right there in Opa, in Benin City. Now this young man is said to be by the name of Osasu, he is said to be a black ass member and he was brought down in a football field by some AM members. Now according to the explanation, it is said that there is a football field right there in Goody Goody where young men goes to play football. And it is also said that there is a young man who often puts some money down and says whichever side wins the football match, then they will collect the money and share the money amongst themselves. Now this has nothing to do with confraternity and a thing like this is supposed to bring the youth of that area together because it is said that both black ass members and members of a members of other confraternities they do go to that football field to play football because information reached me that the youths of Opa came together and say that they are not going to get involved in the war that is going on around ACO and Second East Secular Road. So these young men have been living in peace and harmony until two days ago. So it is said that they were playing their usual football in that field and someone has placed a bet that whoever wins is going to take the money. So nobody really knows what happened between Osasu and a young man who is said to be a member of AA. And nobody really knows what the young man told Osasu. Now after a very short altercation between a member of AA and Osasu right there in the field, the AA member went and sat down with other AA members right there in the football field. So while he was sitting there, Osasu walked up to the AA member where the young man was sitting with other AA members and nobody really knew what the young man had told Osasu. So when Osasu got to where they were sitting down, he slapped the young man in the presence of other AA members. So immediately he slapped the young man, all the AA members right there run into him and they started hitting him beating him with anything they can find. It is said that they use blocks, they use planks, sticks, anything they could find. They beat him to the extent that Osasu couldn't even get up from the ground. So people around there quickly took him to the hospital but it is said that the young man went down. And as this happened, the black ass members in that area got angry and they went got angry and they went to the home of the young man that Osasu originally had a problem with and they started destroying the house of the young man. The young man really don't have a house. It is the parents of the young man that have the house and this is the house that you're currently seeing on your screen. They destroyed the house of the parents of the young man who had this particular problem with Osasu. Yeah. This is the house of the suspect that uh, said he killed the boy. This is the one of the vehicle outside. This is the house. As you can see, there is nobody in this house now. Uh, some boys came in here this morning. We tried to prevent that last night. 
So some boys came in here this morning. This is what we this is just what we are seeing here right now. This is the house. It has been destroyed. The men and the officers of the Dose Security Network we are on ground to make sure the havoc didn't pass here. This is the two houses at the Benedion Street. Benedion Street of Abiko. This is the Benedion Street. This is the main house. This is the main house. This is the other house of it. Here is tenant. But this is the main house. This is this house. Uh, some boys we were playing football at a goody goody field uh, yesterday evening. We don't, as we heard, we don't know what conspire. We heard that uh, they were fighting. Uh, we don't know what happened there. And uh, we heard that uh, at the end, someone died. So boys, we were tripping in last night, and then we heard that uh, is a is a. a a year that killed uh, a year boy. This is the house. So, this is how it is. Men and officers of the Dota Security Network, we are here to prevent uh, further destruction and many more, sir. So, that is what we heard, sir. That is the story that we heard that uh, they were fighting and at a time they killed uh, somebody. As at this stress, Nobody in this house right now. Nobody in this house. Even since yesterday till now. Thank you, sir. So after Osasu was burnt down two days ago, yesterday the black ass members started Two people were shot in Benin City. It is said that a young man who is a member of AYE was shot in a place called Nomayo and a lot of people said that the young man went down. But upon thorough investigation, it was found out that the young man did not go down. After they shot the young man, the young man was lucky enough to find people that are quickly going to help him take him to the hospital for treatment. And that young man that was shot in that particular place called Nomayo, that young man is currently receiving treatment in the hospital. He did not go down. Another young man was shot in a place called Afuwa and they said it is around Abrigo, right there in Upper. And if you are a member of the Envy Family WhatsApp or Envy Family Telegram, you must have seen when I posted the video yesterday, when the young man was saying that he did not even know what hit him. But luckily for the young man, he also survived the hit. So the two hits that happened yesterday in Opa, none of them actually went down. Nobody has went down in Opa since this particular incident happened two days ago. I really hope that God intervenes and intervene very fast before more people is being brought down. Because we all know that our government really don't care. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.